What's up guys and welcome back to another video, Skyte here and this is going to be a pretty short one, I just want to show you a font that I made for you guys to use in your UIs, in your IMG UI apps and I think it will help you a lot. So before starting as always please subscribe and leave a like, we are close to 35,000 subscribers which is awesome and don't forget to join the Discord server because we do giveaways in there and you can get help with uh, coding in general and uh, much more stuff. Anyways. What I made here is an icon font, it's basically a font containing icons. Now it's not perfect, but um, it's made with AI because I've seen many many icon fonts uh, being paid and uh, the, uh, the very few free ones which are there, they're hard to find and they're worse, they're even worse than this one. So I've made a quick font which I will... Um, update in the future if there's interest i'm planning on adding many more icons and um yeah i'm planning on adding many more icons and i'm planning on updating it and um, maybe hiring someone to draw them instead of doing them with ai but for now this is the icon font which we'll have uh in description to download for free if you go to skymods.org uh, download slash icon font or simply in the description you're gonna have the IMGUI icon font TTF here you're just gonna click download and it's gonna redirect you to boost alert do these steps in like 20 seconds and after that you are going to be uh, you're going to be redirected to mega NZ for the direct download now uh, you might get a pop-out like this when you first click with an ad make sure to close it and then proceed to the download so I'm gonna uh, quickly add our font here to show you how it works. First things first, you should open the TTF and click install. After it's installed, all you have to do is uh, place it in the same location as your source file or if in another location, then we're gonna point to that location. But to be very easy, I'm simply gonna go to my examples here and put it right next to my uh, main.cpp I'm gonna copy its name then I'll go here and I'm gonna write you have an example here as well all you have to do is go um, I'm font and then the name of the font let's say icon font will be io fonts add font from file ttf if you want you can also convert this to bytes using hxd and then load it as a, load it from memory so you don't have to download it on your user's computer if you don't want to know how you do that you have a video on my channel explaining how you can convert it to bytes and how you can load it so make sure to watch that for now we're just gonna do it the easy way because i just wanted to show you the font and we're gonna say well directly the name because we don't need any any pointing to do then we're gonna go i must uh, Insert icon font no pointer and then we're gonna push the font somewhere in our window let's see let's go I'm GUI push font icon font obviously you can use this font anywhere else than i'm gui i'm just gonna use it for i'm gui for the purpose of this channel you can easily use it anywhere else and uh, the icons are from a to z so a b c d e f g until z is all um, all icons so the f g H I J K L M N O P, and I don't know from here. I'm kidding. Um, I think it's enough. Let's build it, and let's run the local Windows debugger to see the font in action. So as you can see, well, because we replace the default font, this now becomes the default font. So. You can see the icons in place and obviously if you change the font size in pixels uh, you can also um, you can also have it bigger so let's make it i don't know something like 40 right and now the icons are bigger 
and they're actually decent you can use them uh, they're not bad they're not bad just this uh, they're not very many there are 24 I believe but as I said if you guys like the font and use it uh, still for free I will add much more icons and I'll select them this is a font made pretty fast but I'll be careful next time so anyways this is the icon font I wanted to give you you have it free in the description for download this is how you add it into your project make sure to push and pop it just where you need it uh, especially for building tabs and stuff like that so thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah join the discord server subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye